Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. Okay, so uh, so what I'm hearing is, hold on, how does this one go? I did you wrong. You did me wrong. I'll take you back. I'll take you back. You take me back. What is that? Because um, in a relationship, the easiest thing to do is to leave. You got to stick it out and work it out. Stick it out and work it out. Stick it out. Because at the end of the day, I did you wrong. You did me wrong. I'll take you back. So I ain't trying to waste my time. I'm not trying to waste your time. We don't put in too much time. So child, it sounds like me. Somebody is like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't leave me, don't leave me. Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody sees that you are self-sufficient, you're abundant, you're beautiful, um, you're confident. To become the Nine of Pentacles, you know, people always see, oh, you know, people say this is, you are abundant. There is, you could have a luxurious lifestyle or whatever. But what people always, you know, fail to realize is to be the Nine of Pentacles means that you have to be very level-headed to be the Nine of Pentacles to get to a point of being completely independent, to have this level of self-awareness, this type of self-control. Um, you have the the Hermit and the Tempest card out here. You, you've made good decisions in your life, okay? You've made some really, really good decisions. You are balancing your feminine and your masculine energy out. You understand that past situations are just past situations. You understand, you know, friendships, relationships, or whatever, that things come and things go. Like, there's a, there's a lot that goes into becoming the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles is the right before the Ten of Pentacles. So this is saying that right now, you have everything completely on your own. Um, this is when you get to a point of saying to any person, hey, I don't need you. If you're around, it's only because I want you, but I don't need you. You know, like that's the nine of pentacles energy. You're enjoying the fruits of your own labor. And I feel like somebody is watching you and they're seeing you with this will of fortune. They're seeing you evolve. They're seeing you um, continue to manifest this energy. And with the hermit and the temperance card out here, this is somebody has seen that you've gone through some type of journey or you're on a journey. I feel like somebody knows for a sure fact um, for a lot of you, somebody knows that you are, um, you're destined to be well off for, for sure financially, but to have this type of financial abundance, again, it comes with a certain type of character, a certain type of mentality. Okay. A lot of people can make money, but to make money and then be able to know what to do to keep it, to double it, triple it, that takes a certain type of mentality, um, and for some of you, this two of wands, there could be somebody at a distance who is watching you. This person, somebody has watched you grow. They've watched you evolve. And there's, from what the song I'm channeling, somebody is saying, hey, we've put in too much time. The easiest thing to do would be to just leave. But you've done me wrong. I've done you wrong. So for some of you, there could be a person that you could have met them, you know, when you were younger or several years ago before you got to where you are in life right now. And it sounds like somebody is hoping that perhaps there could be a do-over. Could there be a second chance? Yeah, the five of swords. Someone has been left feeling defeated in this situation with the ace of wands here, but they want a passion in the beginning. This person is trying to manifest you back. Okay, if this isn't a past person, this could be someone in your life now who just didn't perhaps recognize... Um, in the very beginning, they may not have really understood the type of value that you bring to the connection. So again, keep in mind, for some of you, this is a past person. It could be um, someone you're currently dealing with. This could even be the energy of a person that you may meet in the future. But um, somebody just did not, they didn't recognize your value in the beginning. They didn't know that you would become who you are even if you've known someone just the last few months or whatever there's something that is changing about you and somebody's like oh wow like somebody can't deny the fact that you're really really making some type of progress you have a 
your your rap sheet is is screaming success. You know, the Ace of Swords. So a lot of you now you have a lot of mental clarity, new ideas, fresh ideas with the Ace of Swords here. And yeah, the Hermit, it's like you learn something and you're applying it now. Some of you now you're definitely healing. Maybe you learn something about healing. And somebody can tell now with the page of wands, like you're 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 anxious. The page of wands to me for some with the page of swords, it's like you're curious now. You're curious to see if what you have learned about life, about love, money, career, finances, friends, and family, you're curious to go out now and apply it. And somebody I feel is like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, before you go out there, because what it is is somebody already knows that if somebody else gets an opportunity to find out how valuable you are, the chances of them being able to connect with you will be over. So this person's like, hey, don't don't leave me. Ace of Wands, look, Ace of Wands for one, somebody is like, wait a minute, like let's let's work on us. Don't leave. The judgment card and the star. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody is like, no, I, I see you being wish fulfillment for me. I see life with you. The star. But the ten of swords is here. This person betrayed you. And now they want forgiveness. They want to make some kind of offer. This person could have betrayed you for some. For some of you, there wasn't a betrayal. It's just this person. The ten of swords, they could have gone through a... Some, I try to do a better job of giving you guys things from several different viewpoints, angles, and perspectives because everything is not bad. The Ten of Swords sometimes can be, you could be dealing with a person who has been betrayed. They've been deceived. They've hit rock bottom themselves. And maybe when they met you, they were not able to truly see your essence and your value because of the dark space that they were in. Okay, so again, it just depends. If for some of you, you know, you left the person because after they stabbed you in the back. I'm not really getting like a very malicious type of energy here. I feel like for some of you, you met a person, and it could have been one of those situations like good person, maybe wrong timing. You and this person, you met at a time where you just weren't who you are now. You could even be dealing with this person right now, but when they met you, maybe they thought, you know, I'm just coming out of something. I'm going through my own situation in life. Yeah, they're going through their own delays, trying to figure out which way they want to go in life. Do they want to travel? Do they want to relocate? Do they want a relationship? Do they want to be single? Whatever the case is, or you met somebody and they were just in the, the process of going through an awakening, or this could have been you. It could have even been both of you. Somebody now is, is looking at the situation and they're they're like, oh, wow, this actually could be victorious. And this could be someone right now that you're, maybe you're shifting, you're moving away from this person because you're the Nine of Pentacles. So if this person is, you know, they met you and they're the King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. They, the King of Pentacles usually is the person who plans for the long term. Um, this person is someone maybe they are, you know, well off financially or they have the potential to be with the Ten of Swords. There's some kind of mental exhaustion or anguish. Um, this person, like I said, there's a hardship or something here. And sometimes, you know, if a person has gone through something, when you meet somebody new, you can't really always see a blessing standing right in front of you if, if you are going through some type of hardship at the time. That this anybody can go through that. It feels like right here though, somebody is waking up to how special you are. The judge, yeah, the judgment they're waking up to a hundred percent. The judgment and the star card, it's like the trumpet is blowing, like, hey, do you not see that there's a that's a star? The ace of wands and the four of wands, somebody is starting now to think about the future. Okay, what what could this look like? What could this be? They're they're questioning themselves and but it something has happened that has triggered this energy. I really feel like for some of you uh with the Tempest card and the Hermit card, some of you your um your energy has become so tempered, so controlled. Maybe you're doing things more in moderation with the person. Maybe you're not talking to them, you're not texting them, you're not seeing them, you're not sleeping with them. Um, somebody here can sense that something is different about your energy and the hermit card. They may, somebody I feel, um, is getting afraid that you're going to separate from them. You're going to ghost them with the hermit card. Somebody here, yeah, the magician. <laughs> Somebody's like, uh-oh, 
what's happening because you may be the type of person the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles to me can also be someone who can absolutely be like a workaholic some of you may be deciding, you know what, with the tempers, let me get back in the lab and start um, transmuting energy. Let me get back to being an alchemist. Let me get back to learning. Let me get back to creating. The magician is somebody like, oh, hell, you're about to go and create something else. And that the more you create, the harder it's going to be for them to, yeah, the harder it's going to be for them to collaborate with, with you. The moon. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> Somebody is not coming outright telling you at this time that perhaps behind the scenes they are struggling with some kind of situation that requires a lot of patience. They're trying to invest in something and maybe they're not receiving the return on the investment like they will want. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, but they are trying to work to manifest something. They are. The four of wands. And now they're starting. This person, though, I'm telling you, somebody is just like, they're into you, this connection. I feel like somebody is very much interested in a person, but they have something else going on in their life right now. And the ten of swords with the page of cups. This could be someone for some of you, like, yeah, there's something that has happened and they want to apologize. For some of you, this ten of swords, page of cups is Somebody, like I said, they're at rock bottom and the page of cups. All they have to offer you is the page of cups. They don't have a lot, but you have the lovers here. They don't have much to offer or they're afraid to offer more than what they're offering because maybe they're afraid to get hurt. But this person is putting in a lot of work. Late at night, early in the morning, they're trying to do something to manifest. This energy came out a few weeks ago, though, or I said for some of you, you have a person and you think that they're, they're playing around, but... In actuality, this person is, is hiding how hard they're actually working to, let me, let me explain, well, let me tell you what I'm getting. This person is the kind of person they'll tell you, I'm working so hard to make a, lot, a better life for myself, but what they're really, what's underneath that is, they're working hard because they want you to see them as someone that you will share your life with. Yeah, they're working hard to improve themselves, but they're working just as hard to improve themselves so that you, they can improve the situation with you. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. This person is working. They're trying to get some type of, they're hoping that some type of good news comes in. You have a lot of pentacles. So this has to do with earthly matters. King of Pentacles. This person right now is concerned a lot about their, their st stability, their security, their home life, their job, things like that. The sun, wow, the sun and the star. Somebody already, they know. You better really be careful with fumbling this person. Six of Pentacles. Because there's been some kind of exchange between you and this person where they absolutely know. The sun and the star. They know that with you, this is the absolute, it's wish fulfillment. They know that. But they're, they're hung up on something. They're delayed. Hangman, hey two of swords. Yeah, their success is being delayed. You have the Six of Pentacles here, the Scorpio card, Death, Nine of Wands, the Hierophant. This person is also hung up on something, on a mindset or pro some type of conditioning or programming. It could have to do with family, religion, or something. And the, it has this person... And the nine of wands in this like defense, defensive type of energy. I feel like th there's a stubborn energy here with the the hierophant and the um, death card. There's something that this person is still having a difficult time with letting go. Of. It could be how their family thinks or feels about something, um, something with their um, religious or spiritual beliefs. There, there's a mindset, some type of conditioning here. With the Six of Pentacles, this could have something to do. I think I said this a few weeks ago about gender roles because I do see the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles will be the match to the King of Pentacles, which is this person. This person, I keep picking up this energy. Somebody is watching this channel. This is a very traditional person. Like This person may feel like I'm not going to say certain things or do certain things until you know I'm ready to marry you or I have to pay all the bills or 
you know, it's something like that. And I, I don't think that this person understands, especially if you're the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, you're not that concerned about being the queen of pentacles to a king of pentacles. You're already the nine of pentacles. Somebody here is very hung up on their, their pentacles, their security, their stability, and how they give and receive in this situation. So somebody could be having financial issues or something like that, or I don't know if somebody feels like you're high maintenance, like they feel like you're going to require a lot or even too much more than what they're able to give you or something like that. And yeah, the high priestess is here. There's a spiritual connection here though. The high priestess is here with the, um, actually, wait a minute. This high priestess is actually clarify this two of swords. Somebody is hiding the fact that they're juggling. This person is still stuck on something or someone. I'm not really getting to someone. I feel like it's it's a belief system for sure. Yeah. The four and the five of pentacles. This person may need help, but they 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 don't really want to ask you for help or it's something. It's their pride, their pride and ego, which you can understand why they have this. They don't want you to see them in a negative light. If you, like they don't want you to really know just how stuck and bound they are in some type of situation. And that's the reason why they're so slow to come to you with the offer. Okay. Heavy Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. This devil card, I feel like what somebody doesn't realize here is that this isn't a trauma bond. I feel though where you are or the roles could be reversed where this person is or where you are. It's like you have some kind of sympathy or empathy for where this person is because you've been there. The nine of pentacles, again, I don't, it's heavy, heavy emphasis on this nine of pentacles. With the nine of pentacles, look, cut in the deck, the strength card, you've gained a lot of strength and courage on your journey to becoming the nine of pentacles. So in other words, you're in a position now where you're looking for a partner and you've not, you're not only a great person, but you've become someone who is also capable of being a really good partner. So again, that means that the decisions that you've made in life, um, in your personal life, your spiritual journey, your financial life, they seem to have really worked for you and you've gained a lot of strength. Some of you, you've dealt with chaos, competition, jealousy, envy, setbacks. You've gone through a lot to be the nine of pentacles. And that's the reason why now you're so confident. You have the strength and this courage. You're brave, you're ambitious, you're assertive. And somebody, I hate to say is intimidated by this, but somebody knows that right now, I don't think they really can match you. Or, if, or for some of you, Somebody is shocked because you made it to this point and they didn't see it coming and they they're realizing that they hurt you They betrayed you And and that was just like a, a terrible move on their part Yeah, ace of cups Some of you too your strength and courage somebody doesn't understand that you're not that concerned about money Because I feel like i'm talking to somebody. I'm just gonna be straight up I feel like i'm talking to somebody right now where money is really an, an issue. You're looking for love and this person feels like they can't offer love until they have the same type of money as you or until they can do something. Going back to this devil card, I don't sense that this is a trauma bond. I just feel like there's a, a very deep connection here and there is a bit of obsession. And this obsession, like somebody is constantly thinking about what the future may look like or for some of you, if it's a past person, they're constantly thinking about, oh, wow, what it could have been, what it should have been had they not been in this devil kind of energy towards you. I'm picking up for some of you as a past person. For some of you, this is someone you're currently dealing with. Take your heart and resonates. But the Knight of Swords is here. Someone is going to rush in very soon. I feel this is clarifying the Six of Wands with an offer. You may not believe it, though. The Four of Cups here. You may not trust it. The five of cups. Yeah. This person is very afraid that you're going to reject them if they make an offer. 
It's like this person, they sit around and they think constantly about how bad they want to be with you and how you really shouldn't give up on this connection, whether it's a past person or someone that you're currently dealing with. There's so much this person wants to say, but they're really, really afraid that if they open up the conversation, like this person is afraid that if they, if it's a current person, they're like, if they come to you and have the talk, like, you know, hey, what do you think about us? being together or what do you think about us living together or whatever they're afraid that because right now the situation financially or whatever spiritually where you are spiritually or financially something here is not equally yoked that you're gonna just say like are you crazy like heck no i would never be like they're afraid of you rejecting them and it being something that's final I, it, it, for you to tell this person that you can't be with them or you won't be with them, it will really crush them. If this is a past person, they're very concerned that if they come to you, <laughs> this person is concerned that if they come to you now, like, hey, what do you think about us reconnecting? Can I take you out? That you, For one, you may block them, delete them, cancel them out. Um... You may tell them, absolutely not. I'll never talk to you. Like somebody here is very afraid <laughs> that if they get a no from you, that they know is going to be a never. They're afraid. Somebody is afraid of it. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. The King of Pentacles has an Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So... For some of you too, it's two different people here. That's why I keep picking up on a past person and a new person. And one of these mask, these both of these masculines, I feel they know that the two of them are in your energy. Because I feel like for somebody here, one of these masculines, they are financially stable, but they could have hurt you, right? Because the King of Pentacles is here next to the Ten of Swords, they could have hurt you. They could have hurt you and they could have a family. Okay. You have this King of Wands person here. That's like, this could be like this temperance energy, Sagittarius. It could be a Leo, Aries, whomever. This person is stressed out about bringing you an offer because they don't want you to reject them. But what everybody sees is that you're very, very strong and you're just moving forward with the strength card, Empress, and the Chariot. You have two different people in your energy and they both want you really, really bad, but they both see you very, very strong, very confident. And they honestly, like, they want to hold on to you, but they don't feel like it's possible. You have two different people. They're holding on to you because they see you for sure as wish fulfillment. But one person here is... like stuck somewhere else they could have a family yeah three of swords they could have a family but like they can they can they can match you as the nine of pentacles this king of pentacles with the ace of pentacles financially they can match you but they've done something to you to hurt your break your heart which is most likely they they're in a family somewhere else i don't know if they're going through a divorce or a separation or something but now they're thinking back to like Hey, it's that this could have been us type of energy. But then you have someone else that's coming out here that is offering you the page of cups. It's very small what they're offering. Ooh, the emperor. Wow. Okay. So if this is two people, this person that's offering you the page of cups could actually be a divine masculine. This person hasn't hurt you, but you will have to be patient with them. You will have to be patient with them to allow them to become the king of pentacles. But with the emperor, the emperor to me is not so much about like the, the finances. The emperor divine masculine this is a person that's just they're all around divining like this person they have self-control they're structured they're disciplined they're committed 
the emperor is somebody who they look good to the community. They don't have, to me, when I see divine, this person, they don't have a bad rep. They don't, they don't have a long list of, of heartbreaks and, and awful. This person doesn't have bad karma. I mean, everybody has some karma, but ten of swords. And going back to the hangman, they could just be going through their awakening right now. And like I said, they could be traditional. So maybe, maybe for some of you, this one of these people, they're just not as spiritually awakened, as wise or self-aware as you. Their spiritual awakening also has a lot to do with their abundance. As this person opens up more spiritually and they become more aware, more wise, they understand, you know, their heart chakra and root chakra and they get some things balanced out. I feel like there's going to be more security and stability to come in. Like everyone kind of has to go through that in their journey. You have a person that has, for some of you, and it could be this past person, they have abundance. They could also be very wise. But there is something that has happened between you and this person that for some of you, you're just like, eh, you really may not want to revisit the situation. This past person, for some of you, they're, locked, they're stuck somewhere else. They're stuck somewhere else. And, and the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, they took too long to bring you an offer and it confused you. It left you feeling hurt, trapped, drained. But now you have somebody that's coming in and it's like they're actually doing work to try to move a mountain to actually have a connection with you. Yeah, six of cups and then the tower. Something with the past is being, I'm hearing the words specifically eclipsed out with this tower card. You're getting clarity that if you really want love, the world card, you have to you have to close out a cycle here. Yeah. Three of cups. Go towards somebody you can celebrate with and close out a cycle with somebody that puts you on a third party. You have to walk away from this situation with this person that's going to put you on a third party situation. Like, there's somebody's story. Yeah, I just thought, look, the Knight of Wands and the Devil. Whoever this hot boy, hot girl is that, you know, they're celebrating with somebody else, you have to put an end to this situation. That's not it. You do what you want to do, but what I'm seeing here in the cards is you have a person out here that most likely with the Ace of Pentacles, they have money, they have tools, they have resources. Um, they have security and stability. The, the King of Pentacles is this is uh, for sure, most likely they're a husband, they're a father to somebody else. They want you though. Now, if this person is single now. That's fine, but they're still gonna come to you with with everything. <laughs> you have another person out here that is more seems to be with the emperor and someone like a divine energy, but they're offering you the page of cups. They're figuring things out right now. This could be somebody, this emperor page cup, they could be starting a business right now. They may not be able to fully be committed to like what you want at this time because. They're trying to get in the position where you already are. So what are you going to do? Seven of Cups. You have options. Somebody is dreaming about long term though. Long term success, happiness, marriage, family, wealth. Legacy. Somebody's dreaming, fantasizing about that, manifesting it. Whoa, what's this? Three of Swords. But, and it's interesting because the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords, it literally fell on top of the moon. Listen to me. Somebody here is juggling. And when you left them, they were juggling. When they come back in, they're still going to be juggling. And this person is juggling you because they have several options. Yes, look, you have to block this person out and close out this cycle if you want the Ten of Pentacles. Or for some of you, even this person who can't offer you, who 
for, to be honest with you, both of these masks I'm picking up, neither one of them are offering you what you want right now. What you want from these two, from either one, you can't have it right now today. So some of you, to be honest with you, you probably, if you want to, which I think is safe to do, you should ex explore your options because one of these people, they're, they're kind of breadcrumbing you because they're just not quite ready. And then you have somebody else that they're stuck in something else. And they're never going to be fully committed to you. This person that's the page of cups, they will offer you a commitment, but it depends on how long you're willing to be patient with it. Do you have the patience to wait on it? If you wait on it, you could for sure receive the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see. I'm just curious. Is another king going to come out? Yeah, King of Cups. So three of wands. Some of you, somebody else is coming in. I that is crazy. I literally, I was like, is somebody else? Because that's what I'm wondering. It, are you supposed to connect with one of these people that's currently in your energy, or is somebody else coming in? Let's see what happens with this King of Cups. And so it makes sense with the song. Somebody's like, well, I did you wrong. You did me wrong. But pretty much take me back. And then the song is also saying the easiest thing to do is to leave. So you have somebody from the past that's like, hey, things weren't good, but let me come back in. And then some of you, you have someone currently that's like, well, things aren't great, but the easiest thing to do would be to leave. But if you would just give me a little bit of time, I can give you what you want. And then here comes the King of Cups. The chariot. So this could be for sure Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy Cancer energy. But let me say this. <clears throat> this King of Cups chariot person. Somebody that comes in. The chariot could be fast moving energy. Somebody may come in. Oh, I can I can take you where, where you want to go. But look at that. King of Cups with the Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords. You got to be careful because this King of Cups, what I'm getting already is temptation. Yep. Look. Four of Cups. For some of you, you're supposed to, you may be encouraged at this time to wait on this Emperor. I know that's not what you want to hear. But this person is someone who perhaps can match you and they're mirroring you spiritually. They're not where you are right now, but if you look at your journey, you probably will see that this, they're going on the, on the same or very similar journey. This King of Cups for some of you is somebody that's going to come in with an offer, but it's shady. The Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords. This person may be somebody that comes in and they're not telling you, they're, they're going to be... Um, Stressed out and having anxiety about their past catching up with them. I'm getting for some of you, somebody's going to be tempting. They're going to come in, but they're running away from something else. They're running away from a situation and they're hoping that it doesn't catch up with them. And you're the nine of pentacles. So everybody coming towards you, for the most part, they see you as a good catch. So, but this person may be trying to move away from a person or relationship or situation that has them stressed out. So this could be somebody that's coming towards you and they just want to cheat or have a good time because they're stressed out somewhere else. You'll always be looking over your shoulder with this person because they're looking over their shoulder from something that they left behind. Yeah, this is somebody who may come in for a good time, but not a long time. Four of Cups. They don't, they're not really looking for an offer. They're looking for somebody that wants to be an option. And this is what's going to come in, the temptation right before the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles and you moving on a peaceful, calm waters, having wish fulfillment, celebrating in the Two of Cups. The devil is standing right between you and your wish fulfillment. And this devil is this temptation. So for some of you, <laughs> this emperor is here, but... 
to have wish fulfillment, you're going to have to be willing to be patient. And I know this that's the hardest part. So somebody else will come in. <laughs> be careful with that. Six of Cups. Could be like a past life karmic energy. Queen of Swords. You're going to have to say, uh-uh. I'm not doing that because you're the Empress. So you have like a past life karmic energy that will come in. Of course. When you turn away from the false twin flame and you get frustrated with, with the possible counterpart, then here comes a karmic soulmate as well. Or somebody from your past. And you're going to have to have boundaries and say, no, I'm a strong, strong Empress Divine Feminine and I'm moving forward quickly right now towards justice, also towards marriage. Yeah. You have different people who are fighting to be in a connection with you, but there are karmic energies for sure that are going to come in. But you have, look, the King of Swords, Ace of Cups. King of Swords, Ace of Cups. The Lovers and the Three of Cups. Which is another king. Is this a new person? Is this a fourth person for some of you? Or is this the emperor? I'm, I'm going to clarify. Let's see. Is this emperor? Is this this king of swords? I thought this emperor could be this king of swords person that I'm picking up on now. Because they're fair. They're just. They're trustworthy. The emperor king of swords will tell you, I only have a page of cups for you right now because I just came out of a ten of swords. They're not going to lie to you. They're gonna. They're not gonna tell you, hey, I can let me. I can give you the ace of pen. the king of swords. Emperor is not going to finesse you. They're too logical, and they're also. It's easy for an emperor, divine, masculine, king of swords. It's very easy for them for them to detach. That's not a person that's caught up on emotions. This king of cups person for some of you is somebody that will come in, and that's gonna be your casting off. They're gonna be very. Um, appealing and appeasing to the eye and to you emotionally. And that's what the devil is going to do. Right now, when you're like, oh, this emperor just giving me the page of cups. I'm sick of waiting on them. I'm the nine of pentacles. That's, that's your ego. I'm the nine of pentacles. I don't have to wait on you giving me a page of cups. So what do you think the devil's going to do? The devil's going to bring you somebody that looks perfect. King of cups. Oh, they're so in love with you, but they're running away from a situation that they're stressed out in. And they're they're and they don't want a relationship. They're just gonna convince you that they that they do. So you're gonna have to not allow that. Let's see, clarify the emperor. But see, of course, the empress goes with the emperor. So yeah, there's a match out here. But the, the one that's for you is the one that you're going to have to be the most patient with. And and sort of and not wait on, but just have patience to let it unfold naturally. The tower. Yeah. And look, the tower and the king of swords. Libra Scorpio energy. That's this emperor. They want to move on a peaceful calm. What do I tell you? They want to be the one to carry you to wherever you're going. And that's the reason why they're putting in the work to do so. So this person has integrity. They want to match you the right way. So, but they're not gonna, you're not gonna rush them into this. This person is going to come to you when they have the right offer. They're gonna come to you because they want the two of cups. They don't want this to be imbalanced. Damn. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I'm done. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Look, Three of Cups. They're going to come to you when they know they don't have to let you go. This person is holding back, though, like they're building for the future. And look at that. King of Wands, Queen of Cups. They're going to pursue you. And it's, they, they're going to take action to make sure that you're emotionally fulfilled. Some of you right now, you're not emotionally fulfilled. It's work, work, work. Nine of Pentacles. Good life, luxury, whatever the case may be. But the Queen of Cups, this person, King of Wands, is this Emperor person. Page of Cups. Their, their love will come and it will grow. But you're going to have to look, wait on them to walk away from whatever has them feeling defeated. Not like wait on them to walk away, but they're going on a journey. And right now they could be feeling defeated. 
but you are their wish fulfillment. Hmm. Well, that's nice, right? That's cute. I haven't used my little lover's deck in a minute. Let's use it and see what's going on. Somebody needs to work on self-love in order to have a fresh start. You have here someone is leaving everything behind. For some of you, you could be connected with a person that's actually for you. They could have to travel a lot for work. You could meet this person traveling for work. They could live at a distance. Or for some of you, that could come up. You and this person could... So for some of you, this person, they may not want to... If you're not in a committed relationship right now, they could be worried about like where is life going to take them. They may be thinking to themselves, well, you know, what if I get a job in a different place? Like this person is trying to make sure that everything is set before they make you an offer because they don't want you to reject them. They don't want you to think that their life is so chaotic that you reject them. So what they're doing is, which is a huge risk and gamble to take, they're trying to get everything together before they make you an offer. And while they're doing that, the devil is sending in people to tempt you. Exes and new people. Look at that. I just said that. Look, nostalgia. Big changes are coming. Trust the process. Past love, past memories. Yeah. Some of you, <laughs> be strong because as you feel like you are getting what you want right now, you're going to be tempted by the past. But listen here. You have a divine masculine out here. There is a divine masculine in this reading. In your energy. Clarity. You need to see things clarity about this false twin flame, though. Okay? This false twin flame, they want to talk to you. They're trying to play on your emotions. They know this person has been watching. They're like, oh, nine of pentacles. I bet you're very, I bet you're ready to get married. Like somebody knows. They already know. The only thing you're missing now is your, your life partner. They're already in a partnership, most likely. So now they're thinking, hmm, what can I go in and say? What can I go in and do to make divine feminine or divine masculine think that I want to come back to them? I'm not saying that they don't miss you like at all, but what do they miss? They, they, this is still a game to this person. They feel like they, they should have had an opportunity to be with you because you're the nine of pentacles now. You're the perfect partner. Look, this person is obsessed and they're spying on you. It's this false twin flame. They're obsessed and spying on you. And they've noticed how much you've grown. Your self-development and growth. It's it's a thing that they love and they hate. Look, this person is coming for you. They want to chase you now. And they're hoping that you will compromise with them. And you will make it work. But but what but also for some of you this new person they're determined to have you and pursue you and they want to make the situation work they're just hoping that you will compromise with them and understand that like they're they're trying to make some things happen. What is this separation break up time apart? Yeah. So for some of you you and your divine masculine this could be a newer person in your life. There could be a separation. You and this person may have to take time apart. Um, yeah, physical distance or emotional distance. You may just want to, you know, create something, but you have fertility and blessings and pregnancy here. For some of you, you and this person, you're going to separate. And it's needed for some kind of growth. But when you come back together, there's going to be a lot of abundance, a lot of fertility. Yeah, look at that. You have more than one option here. But somebody in your energy is a manipulative narcissist. And they know they can smell this new connection on you. I'm telling you. They know it's here. That's what I'm saying. This person, they're watching you and they're like, oh my goodness. You're actually attracting things as an earth angel. You're not a pentacles and you're an alchemist. You can manifest. So they know if you have the money, 
they know that the next thing on your, your list is manifesting a life partner. So they want to come in and make it seem like they're in love. They want to come in and finesse you. And then the universe, you know, <laughs> is going to also test you and send in somebody. So for some of you, prepare to be bombarded with low vibrational love offers. And this person that right now you're probably frustrated with and looking at them like they're a page of cups, like they don't know what they want, what they're doing. what are, and I'm not going to say that because let me tell you, the emperor, you're never going to think that the emperor doesn't know what they're doing. You're going to know what this person's doing, but the timing. When you look at how much they're giving you and how fast it's happening, Death was frustrating, but the emperor does not come with confusion. Divine masculine is, is going to help you see things clearly. And like I said, this divine masculine is carrying this hierophant king of swords energy. This is somebody that's traditional. They're going to tell you the truth and they're not going to tell you what you want to hear. In fact, this person will be brutally honest and they'll tell you, listen, I don't have any money. Listen, right now I'm getting over breakup. This person will tell you I'm still in love with somebody. Or I'm still trying to figure something out. I, I hope that's not the situation. But I'm saying, this person will tell you, I'm at rock bottom right now. All I can give you is a page of cups. Yeah, I want to give you the 10 of pentacles. But right now, all I can give you. And you have to respect the person that can be honest. Because what if you, if you don't respect them, you'll get this king of pentacles who will come in with the ace of pentacles. They'll offer you everything. And they'll love bomb you. And then they'll turn around and say, hey... Just to let you know, I'm still married. I, you know, I have kids. I, I can't leave that person, but let me fly you out. You know, if that's if you if you know that you you want to manifest marriage, some of you now you're being prepared. You're in marriage. You're gonna have to compromise. You're gonna have to have patience. Love is patient. Love is kind. You have your earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Look at things differently. Look, temptation. Some of you, you it could be this earth sign, this king of pentacles. For a long time, you could have thought that this person, of course, was your person. But you may not have been actually paying attention to the betrayal, the toxicity, and the temptation. This person is tempting because... Of the ego. I mean, obviously, they they come with the, the, the glitter and the gold. They come with the Ace of Pentacles. They look good. The King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, they look good to anybody. But they also could be a finesser, a trickster. And they also may have not just one family. They may have several, fa several families. Because this person feels like they have the money. They have the resources. This kind of, they, they do what they want to do. And, and they would expect you to just deal with it. Yeah, look at this. Coming soon will be somebody who has bad influences, bad habits. You have your water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ha, did I tell you? Look at here. King of Cups, the chariot. Some of you be careful. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a karmic partner. I did not say that this is a past life karmic. And this person is probably married. Some of you have a lot of married people coming towards you. Be careful. Yeah. Leave behind what doesn't serve you. Anything that brings you any kind of pain, discomfort, or confusion, leave it behind. Because right now, you should be focused on building a life, a home, a family for yourself. You're the nine of pentacles. The only thing you're missing is your forever person. That's it. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Take action. Something is safe for you. There will be some type of proposal of love, like a love offer, business offer, marriage proposal or something. But there's a third party here that just cannot get enough of thinking about you or one of these masculines. One of these masculines out here, one of these karmic masculines, because in this reading, I'm picking up three. 
One of these karmic masks has a very, very clingy third party. That's not a situation that you want to get involved in. You don't want to get involved with this married masculine. And you also don't want to get involved with this masculine who is leaving a situation behind where they're not happy. They have a third party person in their life. And they're they're only going to come in and make you a third party. This, this is a Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is asking you now, are you done with third party situations? Have you have you tapped into self love enough now to to not allow a person to put you in a third party situation? And you're needing to forgive yourself for for chasing after behind a person that was running from you, going towards a third party situation. Whether it was friends, family, yeah, somebody here who was toxic, controlling, and manipulative, keeping you in third parties. This is something that, yeah, confusion, clingy. This is a, a toxic pattern. It's time now for you to take action. You should not be entertaining this anymore. And the universe is coming in. Mercury retrograde is like, have you gotten enough? Are you ready to be in a committed relationship and marry? In a marriage, there shouldn't be a third party. You shouldn't still be dealing with your exes that you know have wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, or whatever. Not if, the, if you, you don't want that. Look, air. Did I say the king of swords? That's somebody who they're detached. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Mirroring. You look at that person as if they're you. They may be moving a little bit slow, but this is somebody they're moving slow because they're not trying to sell their soul. And you should be able to relate to that because it's probably the same as your journey. Being an earth angel, a healer, that's also very abundant. You didn't sell your soul to get to where you are. So you deserve a partner who also has a promising life and future, but they're doing it the right way. What that means, you have to take time. That false twin flame, they didn't want to take the time to be patient with you. They moved on to somebody else. So it's sort of like, the, the very thing that happened to, to you, your karma is going to be determined by what you do to seeing a younger version of yourself being presented to you. And when I say younger, I don't mean age, but when you see your, like where you are at the beginning of your journey, because for some of you, you're connecting with somebody and they're healing right now, but they're they're at the beginning of their healing journey, their awakening, and they're going within for for healing, for soul, like they're soul searching. They're they're seeing things about their life, the cycles and the patterns and the rhythms of their life, and they're trying to manifest. But right now, they're taking action, and with everything they have going on, again, they can give you the page of cups. You're gonna have to understand right now they're on a journey. And it makes them feel defeated at times. But this person, I'm telling you, they're going to take action towards the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. They want to celebrate with this Queen of Cups. And when this person comes in, they're not letting you go because they know that they know for a sure fact. This is somebody that's like, I'm going to come to you when I know when I'm sure about you. They don't. They, this person believes in God. They're, they're not rushing. They have really strong faith. Strong will determine that they're like, no, I don't have to rush this because I want to make sure that it's right. 